There we go. All right, here we go. Period five. Eight, eight, eighteen. A lot of eights in today's date. Okay, so we're going to talk about the anatomy of a polynomial. What's a polynomial? What does poly mean? Many. Many. What does nomial mean? It means numbers or terms. So a polynomial is something that has a lot of numbers or a lot of terms with it. So here's an example of a polynomial, Oops. right here. And that's the example we're kind of going to be using for this whole page. Um, there are many terms, and if we're talking about the word term, how many terms would you say are in that polynomial? Six, and how did you get those six? Mm -hmm. It's basically what's in between the plus and minus signs. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. This should be review for you, yeah? Okay. Um, degree. This says degree of a term. We're going to focus mainly on degree of a polynomial. But the degree is, if we're talking about a term, just one single term, the degree is the exponent on that term. If we're talking about an entire polynomial, the degree is the biggest exponent of that polynomial. So on this entire polynomial, what's the biggest exponent you see? Four. There's an exponent of 5, nothing higher than a 5. So this is a fifth degree polynomial. Okay, That's going to be incredibly important for you to identify because when we start graphing these, the degree of the polynomial tells you a lot about the graph. Okay. Next thing, coefficient. What is a coefficient? The number, in front of a the number in front of a variable. Very nice. Um, so if I asked you, again, going back to this same polynomial up here, if I asked you for the coefficient of x to the fourth, what is the coefficient of x to the fourth? Seven. I find the x to the fourth. The number in front is 7. So 7 is the coefficient. What's the coefficient of x? 2. What's the coefficient of x squared? Negative 1. Because there's a negative sign in front. No number means it's a 1. There's also something called a leading coefficient. Now, it's only leading, meaning it's only the first term if that polynomial is in standard form, what the heck is standard form? Well, let's take this polynomial. She has it typed again down here. This is the exact same polynomial, polynomial we were talking about. Let's put this in standard form. Now, standard form means you take the highest, ter the highest exponent term and write it first. So which term has the highest exponent? Three. It's the one we got the degree from, right? So that would be 3x to the fifth. That comes first in standard form. From there, we just count down. So my next term is going to be x to the fourth. So let's see, that would be plus 7x to the fourth. Next term would be my x to the third term. So what have we got there? Plus 4x to the third. What comes next? Minus x squared. And then plus 2x and minus 5. So if you see your exponents, they're counting down. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This is technically x to the 0 out here. What is x to the 0? Because anything to the 0 is 1, right? So your term out here technically has an x to the 0. It's just x to the 0 we don't need to write because it just equals 1. Okay, so it does follow that pattern there. Um, and that's what we call standard form. So when it's in standard form, the leading coefficient is the first coefficient you see. If it's not in standard form, your leading coefficient is the coefficient on whichever term you got the degree from. In other words, it's what would be the first term if it was in standard form. Okay? So we're going to classify polynomials in two different ways. First, we're going to classify them by the degree. So... If I were to classify by the degree, just a second, um, we're going to take these terms from this polynomial 
and just look at them individually. So if I look at just that first term, what's the degree of that term? It's a fifth degree, isn't it? So I'm going to put the five there. I should have done the coefficient first, but oh well. What's the coefficient of that term? Three, right? The three is what's in front. Anyone know what we call a fifth degree polynomial? A quintic. You don't use that word very often, but in case it comes up, a fifth degree polynomial is called a quintic. Okay. My next term, what's the coefficient? And what's the degree? What do we call a fourth degree polynomial? A quartic. Like quarter, quart. There's your four. Okay, what's the leading coefficient here? Four. What's the degree? What do we call a third degree? Cubic. X cubed gives you a cubic because a cube is three dimensions. There's your cubed. Um, what about a two? Let's see. Wait, what's my leading coefficient? Negative one. The degree is two. What do we call a second degree? Squared isn't the official term. quadratic. That one always messes with people because you hear quad and you think four, but that's actually an x squared equation. Your quadratic formula, that's all used for equations that have x squared as your degree, or two as your degree. Um, what about this guy? What's my coefficient? What is the degree? There's no exponent listed. That means my degree is one. What do we call a first degree polynomial? Again, you know the word, you just might not know it associated with a first degree polynomial. Linear. A first degree polynomial is a linear equation. If you graph it, it makes a line. And the last one, what's the leading, or I'm sorry, what's the coefficient? Negative five. The degree? Zero. We talked about it having the x to the zero thing. What do we call something with a degree of zero? We call it a constant. Why do we call a constant? Well, it's kind of the opposite of a variable. A variable is something that varies, right? It can change value. So depending on if I were to tell you that x equals 2 or x equals 5 or whatever, these terms would each have different values depending on what x is, right? If I said x is 2, then this term right here becomes a 4. But if I said x is 5, then all of a sudden this term is now a 10. This term, regardless of what x is, is always negative 5. If I say, what is this if x is 4? Well, it's still negative 5 because there's no x to make it vary at all. So it's just a constant value all the time. Okay? So, so. That's how you classify it by the degree. Now we're going to classify it by the number of terms. So, what do you call a polynomial that only has one term? Monomial. Mono meaning one. So some examples. X squared is, is an example of a monomial. There's an example of a monomial. Why is that a monomial if it has two variables? It's not separated by the plus or minus sign. So it's a monomial. Um, and then a constant like that would also be a monomial. What do you call it if a polynomial has two terms? A binomial, the prefix bi means two, 
For example, a bicycle is two cycles or two circles. A binomial is two numbers or two terms. So examples, x plus 5 is an example. 1 minus p, and I totally just made these up. It's anything with two terms. And negative 5 plus k would also be an example. What do we call a polynomial with three terms? A trinomial. An example of that would look something like x squared plus 3x minus 5. Do you need another example of a trinomial, or do you get the idea? We're good? Okay. What about four terms? What was that? Good question. <coughs> Officially, it would be a... quadrinomial. Most often you will just hear it called a polynomial though because that's kind of an irritating word to say. And right. So on your homework tonight I would like you to use that quadrinomial word but after today you can just use polynomial. Anything more than four terms you just refer to as a polynomial. Okay. Um, an example of that might be a cubic equation like this. There's your four terms. So, so. All right. So let's look at this part. This is like what your homework is. Your homework is a chart. It's just a one-sided chart with polynomials that you're going to identify information about. So if I look at this guy right here, First thing I want you to notice is that, is that there are two letters in this polynomial. Do you see that? So which one do you use when you're trying to identify the degree? Well, this one wouldn't be too bad because either one of them, the highest degree is, or the highest exponent is still a 2. But what if there was a y to the second or a y to the third? Which letter do you use when you're determining the degree? The answer is you use the letter that comes first alphabetically. So if I have x's and y's, I'm going to ignore the y's and just look at the x's. So if I look at just the x's, the degree of this polynomial is a 2. What do we call a second degree? From up here, we call it a quadratic. So this is a quadratic something. How many terms are in this polynomial? 3. What do we call a three-termed one? Trinomial. So what I have here is I have a quadratic trinomial. So you're going to get the degree and the number of terms. That gives you what it's called. Is this in standard form? Again, looking at that x's, I have x to the second, x to the first. There's my x to the zero. It is. What's my leading coefficient? Three. Pretty easy. Okay. Let's look at this guy. Again, we have X's and we have Y's. Which letter are we going to look at to determine degree? X, because it comes before Y alphabetically. So what's the highest exponent you see on an X? 4, right there. What is a fourth degree called? A quartic. And then how many terms do we have? Five. Do we have a special name for five? So we just call it a polynomial. So I have a quartic polynomial. Is this in standard form? No, that degree term is not first, is it? If it was in standard form, what would the leading coefficient be? Four because that's the coefficient on the term where we got the degree. All right, next one. What's the degree? Zero. That would be an x to the zero term, wouldn't it? Uh, how many terms are there? So what are we going to call this guy? Zero tells me it's a constant. And one term is a 
monomial. What's the leading coefficient? It's the only coefficient. It's 3. All right, next one. What's the degree? 1. There's no exponent listed. That makes it an exponent of 1. How many terms are there? So what do I have? I have a linear binomial. Is this in standard form? Yes, so my leading coefficient is just that first coefficient of 2. Okay. What about the next one? What's the degree of the next one? 3. And the number of terms? So what do I have? A cubic binomial. Third degree makes it a cubic. Two terms makes it a binomial. Is it in uh, standard form? No. If it was in standard form, what's the leading coefficient? Negative 22. Okay. Now this last one, huh, tells me a cubic trinomial, and then I have to fill out the rest of this stuff. Well, if it's a cubic trinomial, what does that tell me about the degree? The degree is cubic, which is a degree 3. Trinomial means what about the terms? There's three terms. So I just need to make up a polynomial that has three terms and that has only one no exponents that are higher than 3, right? So I can just make up something off the top of my head, 2x to the third plus 5x plus 1, and in my particular example, the leading coefficient is 2. Easy peasy? All right, let's pass out your homework.